me again, welcome back to X and Media X and my October favourites video. So today I'm going to be talking you through all the products that I have been loving throughout the month of October and all the things I've kind of been loving as well. I've decided to expand it out for this month um, because product wise I've only got one, two, three. Oh, I've actually got four products still. Um, but I wanted to throw a few extra bits in there as well. And it's my channel, so I'm going to do whatever I damn want to. First off, I would just like to say I'm really sweaty. So I apologise if I start to glisten. Not in an attractive, dewy kind of way. Uh, just in a sweaty beast kind of way. I put on a jumper. I've got two studio lights. And the house is hotter than the sun for some reason. Don't know why. Second thing I would like to say is thank you so much for sticking with me for the past couple of weeks where Joe and I have been doing some DIY on our bedroom. Um, you might have seen it in my weekly vlog if you've been watching and you might have also seen a blog post on my blog as well. Uh, we did the bedroom out so it now looks super modern, super nice and we've got a brand new bed um, but it just meant while we were doing that all the stuff from there was in here and it was a nightmare to film. I could not get <laughs> an in my corner to film so it was just a bit of a nightmare. Um, and then we also decided to now do this room. So this is, if you can see behind the camera, it's still a mess. Um, but hopefully this room will be a complete home office when it's all done, which is really, really exciting. So let's get down to the products. First of all, I have two oils for you. The first one is by Neome, and you know if you've watched my videos before, I am obsessed with Neome products. I love their scrubs, I love their candles, their diffusers, their bath oils, everything. This is a daily boost body oil, but it's also for your face and your hair as well. Now this smells like smells like their Great Today body scrub which is mint and mandarin so it just smells like a mojito in a bottle but it's a mojito of luxurious oil that you can put all over your body and in the ends of your hair to make it look super super shiny I made the mistake of putting this in once um, when I was out on a date night with Jo we'd actually gone away for our anniversary um, it's the first time I ever used it and I put way too much in my hair and then it ended up, ended up looking super greasy I didn't have time to rewash it and I went in a massive strop before our meal uh, Jo didn't know what to do bless him and just ran out to Tesco to try and find some dry shampoo or some talcum powder to save me uh, but it was fine in the end I put it up and it looked fabulous and it was very shiny um, but the second time I used it I put just the right amount in you only need the teeniest tiniest bit in the ends of your hair and make sure you rub it in and uh, wash it out as well <laughs> that is the key I thought it might be kind of like a leave-in oil don't leave it in put it in your hair overnight wrap your hair up in a hair turban one of my friends um, another youtuber Ting she told me about that the other day wrap your hair up in a hair turban so it doesn't destroy your pillow uh, and then wash it out in the morning and actually I tried that and it's amazing for your hair but I love it for my body especially my legs I get really dry legs um, probably because we shave them a lot and I think they just get quite sensitive and just dry and prickly um, so I tend to put this on my legs and it really helps soothe them and I get really itchy legs as well. Does anybody else get itchy legs at night as well? It's when I get into bed and I'm just like, I just want to scratch them. Putting this on really, really helps and it just smells incredible. So I'm 100% behind this and I've been using it all month. Second is an oil that I've only recently got through, uh, probably the last couple of weeks, uh, and it's from Muramea. Now, again, if you watch my videos before, you'll know that I absolutely adore this brand. Um, everything that they send through that I try, my skin just eats it up it loves it and I have really problem skin so if you struggle with skincare products Muramea are fantastic and they do a spot treatment which I've raved about so many times before that just literally works wonders it's it's a miracle work you put it on and it just any spot gone but this is their everything everywhere beauty oil now it doesn't smell particularly amazing I don't think well, it has that Muramea kind of smell to it, which is pleasant. It's not unpleasant, but it's not like a smelling oil like the Neon ones are. It's not really there for the smell. It smells a bit aromatherapy, but not like super nice aromatherapy. Does that make sense? Probably not. Uh, but this, you can put, I put it on my skin before I go to bed, and when I wake up in the morning, my skin is literally glowing. 
it's incredible you can use it on your cuticles you can use it on your scalp where else can you use it they're the only places i've used it so far oh and lashes and brows apparently if you put it on your brows and on your lashes be very careful not to get it in your eyes um it really helps nourish everything and it's just fantastic i've been using this for about two three weeks now um i can't get enough of it i'm really into my face oils though at the moment um still really want to try the body shop ones that have come out but this incredible if you like face oils 100% check this out um you get it online and i also saw it in john lewis the other day as well i feel like i need a timer on this camera so i can see how long i've been rambling for because i always say with my monthly favorites videos i'm not going to talk long this time and then i end up rambling but anyway if you're a subscriber to my channel you'll know that and you should be okay with it by now <laughs> So the next product I want to talk to you about is the um, Peppermint Soothing Pumice Foot Scrub from The Body Shop. Now, I threw a body shop party, my very first body shop party not so long ago, and uh, I got loads and loads of products from them. Joe is home. Hello! Hello! I'm just filming. I'll be with you in a moment. Okay. Then we can go to Ikea. Oh, yay. So I got this a while ago from my body shop party, um, and this and... What else did I get? Uh, a peppermint foot spray and also some salts, peppermint salts that go in the water. And basically, you do a foot scrub with it. So you get your washing up bowl, doesn't have to be fancy, put some nice lukewarm water in it, sprinkle the foot salts in it, soak them and then use this. It's a foot scrub, it smells incredible. It's like a gel almost and it does. it's not like a really harsh scrapey foot scrub but it really works wonders and obviously because it's peppermint it makes your feet smell incredible. I have just been loving this recently because I have been, if you watch my weekly vlogs you'll know I'm all over the place running here and there constantly on the go and my feet really hurt at the end of the day when you've just been out and about running from event to event um, and especially now you're in boots and stuff in the winter time they kind of get hot and sweaty and a bit gross. This is amazing because it cools your feet down and it just makes them feel incredible. So um, yeah, 100% recommend this. It's great for summer to cool you down, but it's also great for winter when your feet have been stuffed in stuffy boots as well. And it makes them smell lovely. Next product is the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Now I have got Naked 1, Naked 2, and I've also got the Naked Smoky, which you can see behind me there, that I've been having to play with. Love that as well. Um, but I got this one through as well, because I am doing a giveaway on my blog, um, so do not miss it. It's coming in the next couple of weeks. Sign up to my newsletter. I'll leave a link in the info bar. Um, sign up for my newsletter, and you will get first dibs on any competition that I do on my blog, and you'll also get a monthly email that's like a roundup of the best posts as well so if you want to delve into the world of blog reading but don't want to read it full time that would just give you a nice little snapshot about what's going on over on the blog as well because I blog every day apart from so Saturday so actually there's some pretty good content on there so head over and find out but on the blog I am giving away the whole set of Urban Decay Naked palettes one two three and the smoky palette for a lucky reader which is really exciting um but I couldn't give a palette away without trying it out myself so I have the Naked 3 finally um I didn't buy this at first because it's full of pinks and I'm not really a pink kind of girl um however since having this, I haven't stopped using it. I've got it on today. Today I've got the colours Trick and Buzz with a little bit of Liar in there as well. Um, but there's not just pinks, there's loads of rose golds and browns and coppers. I just absolutely love it. I'm head over heels with all the Urban Decay palettes anyway. I think they're the best eyeshadows that I own. Um, but yeah, really impressed with the Naked 3 palette and love it and haven't stopped using it since it dropped through my door. Also really like the smoky, but I haven't properly given it a go yet, so maybe that will feature next month. And the last thing I wanted to put in my favourites video, it's not really a product, it's more of just a thing, and that is my weekly vlogs. Now, I used to vlog here and there back in the day, um, but I didn't, never really done it on a regular basis, and never done them over the space of a week before. And those of you who, who are subscribed to me will have seen little weekly vlogs popping into your subscription box once a week, and you have been so lovely about it. It's amazing. I know not everybody is into vlogs, so if you're not into vlogging, I really appreciate you sticking with me. Um, just scroll past it. It comes through on a Monday. Scroll past it. You don't have to watch it, and you can save yourself for videos like these. Um, but if you haven't seen them or you do like vlogs and you've just somehow missed it, I'm now vlogging every week and I'm loving it. Loads of you keep asking me whether I'm going to be doing like vlogmas and stuff. 
answer at the moment is no. Um, I struggle to do the weekly vlog. It takes ages to edit. I don't think people realise just how long it takes to edit videos and stuff. And I don't, I think I would actually have a mental breakdown if I tried to do one every single day. So for now we're going to do weekly vlogs instead. But um, yeah, that has got to go in my favourites because I've just absolutely loved doing it this month. Um, and I'm going to carry on for the foreseeable future. Hello Wilson. <laughs> Oh, so many distractions today. Um, but for those of you wondering, I vlog on my Canon G7X camera. It has a little flippy round screen and it's amazing and I love it. Um, but yeah, so that has to go in my favourites video because I've just been really enjoying it. That has probably been one of my favourite things about the month. So that is it guys for my October favourites video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, as always, let me know your favourite products down below. Take a minute to comment. Um, let me know if you've tried any of these products out or if there's anything similar to these that you think I might like. I would love to hear about it. And don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter as well. I'll leave the link down below so you can keep track of the Urban Decay giveaway when that comes up because you don't want to miss that, it's a wicked prize. But yeah, that is about it. So if you enjoyed watching, give it a giant thumbs up and if you are new, click that subscribe button because we want to grow our little family. Um, yeah, that's about it. So I've got lots of awesome things coming up for you in the next couple of months. Um, more weekly vlogs, I'm going to Harry Potter in the snow. Oh, I'm so excited! Massive Harry Potter fan. Um, and of course I've been shortlisted for a Cosmo Blog Award, which is insane. So if you did want to vote for me, that would be amazing if we could win. Um, but I'm just so pleased to be shortlisted. Uh, so I guess that's that's got to go in my October favourites as well, hasn't it? That's like a pretty big achievement. Um, but of course I will be vlogging uh, my time at the awards as well. So um, yeah, lots of exciting things coming your way. Any ideas you've got, tweet me at XAmeliaX, let me know what you want to be seeing. Uh, and now we are back in the space, all is right with the world. But yeah, that's about it for today guys. So as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye! So they have branched out from dry shampoo and you know what, they've done it pretty darn well. This is their Hold Me Hairspray, it's their brand new hairspray. I used it in a recent hair tutorial that I did for the Milkmaid braids and I absolutely love it. I'm don't often use hairspray to be fair, if I do I normally use Elnet but since this dropped through my door I have actually been reaching for it all the time and it's great, it's not sticky and it does actually hold your hair in place. Really impressed with this and I kind of hope that Batiste carry on bringing out other stuff because clearly they've got a winning formula. I just need to finish. Okay. I've got so much space. Yeah, how are you, how are you feeling? Yeah, it's good. Blimey. I know, so much space eh? It's the space age. Yeah. That doesn't really work, but yeah. You need to get changed and grab the tape measure so we can measure up before we go. Do you mean you haven't measured up already? No. What have you done all day? It worked. Work. <laughs> Nearly done. I ain't got time for DIY. I need a week. Just felt like sharing that with you. And YouTube. YouTube don't need to know your bowel movements. Sorry, YouTube. <laughs>